You want to go for a ride in the car? <laughs> what kind of lunatic loads a sick man into a car and kidnaps him? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm doing it to make a point, but your mother, she's just crazy. This isn't over, piggy banks! I know where you live! You better sleep with one eye open, old woman! Your dog hates you! <laughs> Man just repulses me. Why? Why? Are you kidding me? He's a horny little piglet with a pinky ring. My mom deserves a decent man who's loving and respectful and who pays attention to. Pow! There goes the mouthpiece. You know, like what I've got. Where do you keep your gun? Is it at home or in the car? <laughs> well, that's a shame. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna tell those guys to go on without me. If that's what you want to do. It's not what I want to do. I want to go to the game, and I want you to say it's okay so I can get drunk, have a good time, and not worry about coming home to that face right there. All right, come on. Have fun. Great. Please tell me he's going to be our new daddy. You told him to do this? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't feel good. You took absolutely no time think about that. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Mrs. Bates. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. <laughs> really? I guess when the time does come, I'll be buried next to Molly. What? Uh, oh, Mike, we haven't even bought a couch together yet. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Where would you be if I lost my arm in a rock climbing accident? Well, I'd be living in a parallel world where you had the ability to climb rocks. All right, clearly you are not ready to have this conversation. I don't even know what this conversation is. I think the old one made the big one crazy. Drive up to Wisconsin. Huh? Like having by the lake. You know, big fireplace, snuggling under a blanket, sipping hot chocolate. Ah. <laughs> what is the problem this time, Princess, huh? The fireplace? Wisconsin? I know it's not the chocolate. You wanna come with me? I don't, I don't wanna go by myself. <laughs> much of a dancer. Consider it foreplay! So! <laughs> But they don't, do they? No. God, no. Boy, after dinner, I'd sure love a foot rub. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. I said anything. Love to a pillow. <laughs> Tie 
time I get out, I want this side of the bed to be empty. <laughs> what the hell is going on? What do you mean? You spent the entire evening with your mother and you're not thinking about killing yourself and I'm not thinking about killing her. Chipper, she's being sweet, thoughtful, and complimentary and something's very, very wrong here. I mean, she just told you I was to keep her. Well, you are a keeper. I know that. She doesn't know that. I mean, if she did, she certainly wouldn't say it in front of me. Telling you something smells rotten here and it's not just Jim's bark and chow butt bombs. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm getting whacked. <laughs> I most certainly did not, Peggy. You told me that in confidence. Now, I understand that you are nervous, Peggy, but it took the work of three women to get you looking presentable, Lee, beautiful. <laughs> and I'm not gonna let you waste this sitting on the couch eating day old meatloaf. Now, give me the dog and go have a good time. Pull a name out of a hat. Does anybody have a hat? <laughs> this is gonna be fun, huh? <sighs> oh my god, is it good? <laughs> no, you can have his place as long as you need it. Whoa, 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 let's not get carried away. <laughs> Really, you're giving me that face? <laughs> really? Let's go on. Well, as much as I hope one day we'll be living under the same roof, I'm just not ready for that right now. Oh, I get it. You're like a wild, untamed stallion, and here I am trying to hook you up to a plow. <laughs> I said it's not your fault. <laughs> it's your womanly instincts. I'm not quite following you, but that's probably just because I'm burdened with this crazy lady brain, you know? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying you're trying to trap me as much as reel me in. I see. Less horse, more fish. <laughs> Because you know what, if I really wanted to trap you, I'd dig a really big hole in the backyard and cover it with moon pumps. Better drink our coffee. Stay out of it, Mom! You don't keep one here, do you? In the vegetable crate. I don't know for sure, but I know that he and Mike had a little secret man talk last night, and Mike's being very cagey about it. You don't think Vince is doing anything behind Mom's back, do you? See, that's where my mind went, too. Oh my God, he's cheating on her, isn't he? You did not hear that from me. <laughs> Talking about the little mini chocolate ones. Have one on each finger and still hold a cup of coffee. You know there's a Dunkin' Donuts exactly 1.2 miles from here. 1.2? And you know that how? I was going for my power walk and I was wearing my pedometer. By the way, you can start smelling them at 0.8. <laughs> Okay, okay, we have really got to stop this. Technically, I burned those calories off. <laughs> I'm gonna be good until Victoria's birthday party, and then I'm gonna have a piece of cake the size of my head. I thought your sister didn't want to make a big deal about her birthday. It's her 30th. It's a milestone, and we're all having cake. End of discussion. <laughs> Pop-up camper, probably not a long-term... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you've got... <laughs> You're telling me I should have a baby. <laughs> uh, Mom! Can I walk on that path with you? Carl! And overworked, so he forgets where he put his erection in hands. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Mike panicked. What do you mean, panicked? You know, his face turned white, it started fidgeting. Chewing his thumb, he looked like a giant baby that had to go pee pee. <laughs> Can you imagine powdering that big bottom, Mom? Take life as it comes. Oh, I suck at that. <laughs> Mike and I are happy, and that, that should be enough. Absolutely. But it's not. <laughs> now I want 
want it all, and I want to know that I'm getting it all. No, he's useless. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's no reason to rush into anything until we're both sure we're ready. It would appear I'm ready. <laughs> Molly Flynn, will you marry me? Are you sure this is really what you want? I'd get down on my knees, but I'm not sure I could get back up. <laughs> Seriously, I don't, I, I don't want you to feel pr pressured into anything. I don't. In fact, I haven't felt this sure about anything in a long time. Is that a yes? Yeah. <laughs> People, please, pipe down. Yeah, precious moment. <laughs> when did you get this ring? About two weeks after I met you. I see love.